Okay, it's Friday, November 21st, 8.35 a.m. I'm going to uh, take out the furnace filter and clean it. Let me amend a couple of what one thing I said before. I said about this Hawaiian fan. I bought it over the summer. No, I bought it in the summer of 2013 in the Walmart in Forked River, which I cannot uh, reach uh, without a car. I had a car, yeah. I, I went to Walmart uh, last summer and got this fan. Uh, the two Dollar General store fans, I bought them this summer with my grocery cart that I walked to the food bank with. Um, I said Rusty was outside. I just checked the temperature. It's 29 degrees outside. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do here. This is just it's just a chair, card table chair on this side. Little step stool on this side and let's see how I get in there. Okay. See what happened see what happened with this doorknob? It was just turning around and around and around in a circle. I tried to first tighten these screws on the side. That didn't do anything. I took it out. Didn't do anything. I can't get this out anyway, so I don't know if I'll ever fix that. But here I go, so I'm going. Stepping through, stepping onto here. All right, I'm in here. That's the wood where I broke the broke the bastard door in. Okay, so right now I turned the furnace off. Take this off here. Another thing I forgot to mention, which has been an ongoing problem with this furnace. This is a furnace I had put in after the hurricane because my old furnace burned out because the water got in. Got in here. Come on, Joe. Go away now. So, okay, so that's this is the top panel. The bottom. Now, what was, what was the problem with this was sometimes you'd go to turn up the heat and it wouldn't kick off. The furnace wouldn't kick off because of this button which is supposed to be depressed. Whatever you call it. I don't know. But press it. It makes the furnace kick off, right? Well, for some reason it wasn't working properly. I've had that problem in the past. So far this winter I haven't had it. But it is a reason why I sometimes have to access the furnace. It's, it, I don't know why, um, what I would end up having to do is just take off this panel, re reposition it or readjust it, and then the furnace would kick off when you turn uh, the thermostat up. Anyway, I haven't had that problem so far. However, it's uh, not really winter yet, is it? All right, so the furnace is turned off. This is a washable filter that actually came with the old furnace, which was identical to this new furnace, except this new furnace did not come with a filter. This metal strip, they put that in for me that wasn't didn't come with the furnace to hold the filter in place. All right. Here's the filter here. Now, this, because it's plastic, it, it gets stuck. Like it gets stuck in the hole. Just like an indentation. This is it here. I've got to see if it goes from here to here, so I've got to bend it. 
like bend it. I don't have any light in here. That it, I don't have any light. I used to have a light in here. I don't have any now. So bend it. See how there was like a up to where it the vent is, and it gets stuck in there. I don't know. Maybe I won't have that problem now that I'm filming it. Stuck here. Right now. So it's got some dust and dirt on it. Uh, so I have to wash it off. All right, so it's down here. Top on the bottom, Right now my flashlight doesn't seem to work. I have to see if I can get it to work later. Because I dropped it, you know, the magical, magical malfunction. All right, so just put it here. She's in the sink. What are you doing in the sink? All right. So what I have to do, is I just wash this. I dry it uh, with a hair dryer so it'll dry fast. And then put it back in. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll wash it now. Just stay away. Now go away, Hannah. Now go away, Emily. Go away, Emily. So I'll wash it. And then uh, when I'm ready to put it back in, I'll film it again. Hopefully I'll get my flashlight to work. 